Do your intro still look goofy just like Luke when his dad returned with the milk? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you exactly how you can make them turn from trash into fire with the smoothest text tracker you can ever find. To start, obviously, you're gonna need your intro clip. Once you've got that, we're gonna double click on the layer and we're gonna head to the right and open the tracker panel. Once we're here, we're gonna click on track motion and you're gonna see these two little squares appearing. So now we're just gonna drag the outer square a bit bigger and the inner square too. Once we've done that, we can zoom out and put it on the head that you want to track. I would always advise you to put the tracker somewhere where you can track the movement easy. So for this case, I'm going to use the nose. Just drag it onto the nose. Now make the inner square roughly cover his nose and the outer square also a bit bigger. Once you've completed that step, make sure to head back to the right and now we're going to analyze our clip. This is going to take a while depending on how long your clip is and how fast your computer works. Once that's finished, it should look something like this and now we can add our text. To do that, just close the layer and go back to your main composition. And now just click the text button on the very top to add your text and click on your preview. Now just add your text. So for the text, just use your normal settings, make normal fade ups or however you want to do that. And once you've done that, go ahead and pre-compose the text layers together. If you have multiple, if you just have one, leave it at one, pre-compose it. And now we're going to double click on our intro video layer again. Now go to the right, open the tracker panel again, and we're going to press edit target right here. And we're going to apply the motion to our pre-composition layer that we just created that includes all the text layers that we created earlier. So for me, I'm going to select pre-composition one and press OK. Once we've done that, we can now apply the tracker. So we're going to head to the right again under the tracker panel and press apply. Make sure that you choose X and Y and then press OK. As you can see, if we play our clip now, the text is already tracking to the head of the character. You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. But for me personally, I don't like it if the text covers the face of the character that I want to put the text for. So I'm just going to pre-compose the layer one more time. Make sure to always hit the bottom option and enable this check mark. Press OK. Now I'm going to press P on my keyboard to bring up the position property and move the Y positioning a bit down so it's just underneath the character's face. And once we've done that, this is going to be our final result. You're sweating. Relax. Take a deep breath. As you can see, the text smoothly follows the character's face. I'm really satisfied and I hope you're too. I hope I could help you with this tutorial. If that's the case, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on new tutorials. Also, make sure to check out previous tutorials on my page. There's loads of guides on how to edit as a beginner. Also make sure to not miss out on my 70% sale that I have on my website right now. You can get all my presets there. I also made a Discord for editors just like you and me. So we can hang out together and you can ask me questions. I'll be gladly answering your questions. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.